what's up guys it's zed and in this video i'm going to be playing the lead donation mode in the euros update on fc24 and finally my face is back on my channel first time since my surgery in december and my background is kind of different though the camera angle is also kind of different but that's going to be temporary so let's go back into the video i'm going to use the netherlands to create my player Jalen Kallenberg, 23 year old left footed striker. This is what he looks like and I have a separate video on my channel showing how to create him. So for anyone who's interested, um, the link will be in the description and also like up here. Yeah, he's rocking the Superfly Elite for the Euros and has a couple tats. And also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Our first match of what is very likely to be the group of death is against Poland. Then we have France in the second match and Austria in the last match. So it would be good to get us to a great start against Poland. Apparently, completing training drills unlocks a playstyle slot. So I did the chip shot drill and unlock the finish shot playstyle. I'm playing four full matches and three playable highlights in the video to maximize the use of time. I'll play the full match against France next. For so this match against Poland, though, and the one against Austria after the France one is going to be the playable highlight. So let's see how our first match will go. Our keeper makes a good save in the first scenario and our player won't need to capitalize on a golden chance. After my player got sold off for some reason, Javi Simons was presented with the best chance of the game but sadly wasn't able to put it away. Later on in the second half, Marlin also had a phenomenal chance but sadly wasn't able to put it in the back of the net. The match ended as a goalless draw, not to start or wanted but all goals in all of yeah. So France won their match against Austria duh, and are now sitting on top of the table with 3 points while we only have 1. But next up we face them in what's pretty much the toughest match in the group and trust me this shit is good for you. We started really well with a brilliant string of passes. Malin was able to pull off a killer pass to set up my player for the first goal of the match and Kallenberg without a doubt to win for that away. The goal was followed up by a good opportunity in the 13th minute, but Kallenberg was able to put that away for a brace. Frecken, I think that is the keeper's name, made a brilliant save to keep us with the lead in the match, and it was followed by a lightning quick counter attack that ended up with Memphis Depay putting us two goals up. Followed by Griezmann dragging the goal defense back to one with a close range shot that was beyond the reach of Frecken, who was able to stop the equalizer from the market a couple minutes later. Another counter attack, but this time the roles were reversed. Memphis Depay assisting my player Jalen Kallenberg to score his third goal for the team. Nearly 15 minutes after the first half was over, Kallenberg got his hat trick after executing a picture perfect volley, putting the Dutch goals up. And after that, the floodgate opened. Kallenberg almost assisted Rain Reinders, who I just called Reindeer for some reason, and he kind of assisted the actual goal that Mr. Reindeer ended up scoring. And after a really good counter attack, Cody Gakko got the final goal of the match. Kallenberg had one more chance for the keeper was able to keep the gap from going to stick. Overall, it was a match the French will dread forever and a match the Dutch will never forget. That saw us take top spot from France with a difference of just one point. France in third having a worse goal difference than Austria, which to my surprise won against Poland. But they definitely proved that they were in the weekend's league when the stunned just before half time. For about 20 minutes to the end of the match, Frimpon got the goal that would secure our place in round of 16. France got third in the group after a draw against Poland, but lucky for them, they were one of the better performing third place teams, which got them into the round of 16 to play against Croatia. Croatia won by one goal against France to get to the quarterfinal where they would face the host Germany. Italy overpowered Zekia to play against Ukraine in the quarterfinals as well. A massive upset in Scotland getting the better of Spain that is insane. Will the same thing happen against Portugal though? Our block is yet to be played. It should be an easy match, but these international matches are very unpredictable. Really you never know what the other girls are doing to in this match. I can I can only hope I advance to the next round and I can only hope that um, Hungary defeats Belgium. The first chance of the match was a long cross towards Javi Simon, who scored with ease. Next up, we had another chance but wasn't able to put him away. A practice corner routine was saved by the keeper and the pair also dragged a short wide shortly after. He equalized in the 28th minute after a hopeless one on one with our keeper. At the start of the second half, Javi Simons was presented with a golden opportunity and did not hesitate to put that away. That is two goals for him. 2 1 was the score at the end of the match, and we were going to face Belgium in the quarterfinals. The match annoyingly started with the leads running away from the bloody ball and letting Carrasco score a free header. But we weren't going to have that. A cleanly threaded pass from Malin to Kallenberg was a rescue for the equalizer, and my player was not ever missing from there, although it was really close though. 
In the 37th minute, Kallenberg got his goal deserved great, putting out a really stunning outer foot shot from his bag of tricks and completing the comeback. And at the end of the first half, Malen stupidly missed a golden opportunity that would later make things really, really troublesome for us. Shortly after the restart, Kallenberg pulled out another weapon from the Arsenal to complete the package. A bloody scorpion kick, man. When I did this, oh god, I was stunned, I was speechless. Such a beautiful goal. But would that be the end of the Dutch dream? In the 60th minute, Kallenberg's header was saved by bare millimeters from the Georgian goalkeeper. In the 65th minute, in the 76th minute, And in the 90th minute, Frimpong destroyed our hopes and dreams, which saw the match go to extra time. A couple chances here, a couple chances there, and in the 101st minute, our dream was shattered. Kallenberg showed us why he's the ace in the Dutch team and Broby was not able to capitalize on what would have possibly been the assist of the tournament. We had a couple more chances but ultimately the match ended in heartbreak for the Dutch with the Kaku scoring a penalty to steal our defeat. The match ended 5-3. A valiant effort from Jalen Kallenberg for two hat tricks in the only two home matches that I say that should have been the worst. I don't know why. He got for the in the in the playable highlights. But sadly he is not the main character of this tournament. And if you guys have liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and look to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know what content you would like me to play as next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.